Jeffree Star is accused of stealing another brand's packaging, another TikTok trend has caught fans by surprise, and Nessa Barrett apologizes for a controversial dance. Welcome to Reality, a segment where we report on multiple stories in a single video. Before I get into the stories, I just want to put out a disclaimer. Please do not send any hate to Jeffree Star, Larock, Shane Dawson, Diego Martir, Nessa Barrett, or anyone else involved in these stories. This video is simply meant to report on the news. Jeffree Star is being accused of stealing the packaging from Larock's The Royal Collection for his Bloodlust palette. On April 11th, a Reddit user posted a photo they saw in a Facebook group. The text on the photo explains why some people think Jeffree stole the packaging. Jeffree Star has been quick to accuse other brands of stealing their ideas. However, it appears that his royalty-themed Bloodlust collection was, in fact, stolen from Larocque's 2014 holiday collection, The Royal. Bloodlust has the same unusual hexagonal box, decorative artwork, crown motif, and velour covering as The Royal. In his second makeup series with Star, Shane Dawson was shown in Jeffree's office looking through palettes for inspiration. One of these was Larocque's The Royal, proving Star had knowledge of the collection before he decided to rip it off. Here's the clip from Shane's video, The Ugly Side of the Beauty World. It shows Shane, Jeffrey, and members of Jeffrey's team going through different shape ideas for Shane's palette. Several people accuse Jeffrey of stealing ideas. Jeffrey steals all his ideas. I'm tired. Not the first time he's done that, but it's Jeffrey. He gets a free pass for everything, apparently. I gotta know one thing. With all that money he's made, why did Jeffree Star use the same packaging as The Rock's 2014 holiday collection? Invest and make something different, maybe? For context, in December 2017, Jeffree accused Kylie Cosmetics of using his liquid lipstick packaging. I gotta know one thing. With all that money she's made, why did Kylie Cosmetics use the same packaging as my liquid lipsticks that have been out since 2014? Invest and make something different, maybe? He also accused Huda Beauty of stealing Beauty Bakery's concept and photo shoot for Huda's setting powder launch. Other people called him a hypocrite. My biggest issue is that he accused Kylie Cosmetics of copying his packaging. As you guys pointed out earlier, that type of packaging is common. The point is that he calls out brands for using another brand's design when he literally does the same thing. He denounced Huda for using a similar photo shoot as another brand, yet he is allowed to use Larocque's packaging without criticism? Hypocrisy at its finest. However, many people defended Jeffrey. Y'all are reaching. It's just a box, and so is the Larocque collection. The palette matters most of all, and there's not even a Larocque palette to begin with. It's a box with similar art, and I think it was his inspiration. It's literally just a hexagon. It's not even patented. If you compare the crowns and the artwork, it's not the same. Maybe Larocque was inspo, but you can't steal shapes. Okay, but the color and what Jeffree Star put inside the packaging is different. Plus, it's been six years since Larocque came out with that collection. A hexagon is not a proprietary shape. Velvet is very on brand for Jeffree Star. Royalty fits in with Blue Blood, which the royalty palette was a follow up to. A few people said this was common in the beauty industry. Everything has been done in the beauty community. It's ridiculous for beauty brands to accuse each other of stealing an idea. Whether it's Jeffree Star and Larocque, Too Faced, and Tart, Wet n Wild and Nyx, etc. That's just how it is now. Everyone copies everyone, lol. And several people made jokes. This just in, Jeffree Star stole hexagons from Larock Cosmetics because clearly Larock invented hexagons. How dare he steal box shape? Y'all chill. It's a box. The shape is the same and that's it, y'all. The Royal has multiple products and Jeffree's just had his palette. Do you think Jeffree stole the packaging for his own products? TikTok stars are trying a new trend and it's receiving backlash. You may remember in early April, someone started the mugshot trend on TikTok. Many considered it tone deaf and triggering, and several influencers received backlash for participating in the trend. Nearly two weeks later, a new trend emerged where people claim to have experienced a seizure, but instead start twerking or dancing. The video starts with text that claims they caught their seizure on camera. In the background, a voice recording from TikToker Courtney Lee Hewitt says, Hey yo, something traumatic happened that changed my life, check. Then the audio clip plays sad music, and the person proceeds to twerk, thrust, or dance. On a side note, the voice recording from Courtney was created to tell her story about getting 
in 2017 and the struggle she faced afterwards. However, it seems like no one was upset about the original audio being used for trends. Even though many people participated in the trend, two TikTok stars received the most backlash, Diego Martir and Ona. Diego's video opens with TikToker Lauren Kettering crying and text that reads, Diego just had a seizure and passed away. Here's the footage. I'm sorry that I have to tell you guys like this. Then the video shows Diego going about his day until he appears to have body pain, which resulted in twerking. Some people were not impressed with the trend. That's not funny. People actually have family members that have had seizures and passed away. It's not a joke. How is this a trend? People are dying from this right now. This is nothing to joke about, whether it was a trend or not. Others defended Diego. Bruh, people really find any way to make anything offensive. It's a trend. It's not something to trip about. Diego also chimed in and said, It's a trend. Please don't come for us. By the way, it was my idea, not Lawrence. I didn't mean to make anyone upset. I'm sorry. I'm saying I'm sorry because it was my idea. I didn't think much of it. Ona's video started with her looking straight and text that said, I caught myself on camera having a seizure. Then the video shows Ona going about her day until she appears to have body pain, which resulted in belly dancing. She also received similar backlash as Diego did. Ona has since deleted her video. While it seems TikTokers didn't mean any harm with this video, it's still a sensitive topic for most people. According to an article written by Dr. Steven Schachter, Joseph Sirvin, and Patty Schaefer, most seizures end on their own and cause minimal concerns. Yet during some seizures, people can injure themselves, develop other medical problems, or life-threatening emergencies. Healthline also explains that there are risk factors for dying from a seizure, such as history of frequent uncontrollable seizures, tonic-clonic seizures, having seizures since you were very young, a long history of epilepsy, not taking anti-seizure medication as prescribed, drinking too much alcohol. So you can see, seizures are a serious health concern for some people. Furthermore, there seems to be less controversial variations on the caught-on-camera trend that still allow TikTokers to twerk or dance. Here are some examples. Someone pretended to fall down the stairs, Another person pretended to fall off the roof. Someone pretended to faint. Many people found these variations funny. What do you think of this new TikTok trend? Do you think people are being too sensitive? Nessa Barrett is being called out for a controversial dance. On April 8th, Nessa posted a TikTok video where she and a friend danced the audio of someone reciting a verse from the Quran. The Quran is the central religious text of Islam, which Muslims believe is the word of God. Here's the TikTok. <laughs> In the video, Nessa is throwing it back, which is a popular TikTok dance move. She later deleted the post. Many people were offended by the video. No way did I just see some kid throw it back to the Quran and then delete it? This is disgusting, and I doubt a sincere apology will be given. This is so disgusting and disrespectful to the Muslim community. Nessa Barrett is cancelled. Imagine watching your beliefs get disrespected by ignorant, privileged people and standing back and not saying a thing because it won't change anything. I refuse to do that. I refuse to not talk because I won't be heard. Nessa Barrett is disrespectful and I hope she realizes. Nessa later went live on TikTok to explain what happened. My friend made a video that I posted. Um, we were trying to think of um, ideas for TikToks and I was scrolling on my free page and I saw a video of um, an old guy singing something and I didn't understand what he was saying, um, but I really thought it was the cutest thing because he was just something like that. I didn't know. Um, my step siblings, like my stepmom is from Egypt and all that stuff, so I know that 
it could have been taken offensively. Um, I just want to apologize for anyone that took it that way and was offended. I think I'm sorry to anyone that practices. While some people forgave and defended her, others thought her apology wasn't good enough. If a Muslim mocked other religion, they'd be called an other kind of but when it's Nessa Barrett, oh, she made a mistake, she thought it was a song. Y'all need to chill, it wasn't that big of a deal. Nah, y'all colonizers can f*** off and go educate yourself. I'm so done with Nessa Barrett and other uneducated white influencers. It's always the same thing over and over again. They do some disrespectful sh make a pointless apology, say they're going to take a break for a few days, come back like nothing happened, and do it all again. Some people found a now-deleted TikTok she made where she claimed she was Muslim in the caption. In the TikTok, she lip-syncs the lyrics, Jesus, Jesus, I love to praise your name, then makes the sign of the cross, which is used as a ritual blessing in some branches of Christianity, mainly Catholicism. Some people who saw the TikTok thought she was being hypocritical now, claiming that you're a Muslim but has the audacity to throw back to the Holy Quran. I think I'm sorry? Well, I think you're disgusting. What kind of apology is that? You're not even sincere. What the f that's so disrespectful, and you are cancelled, Nessa Barrett. Also, the fact she said she didn't know what the audio was, honey, you said you were Muslim yourself? Nessa further addressed the criticism in a TikTok video. I've apologized before, but many people have felt that my apology just wasn't good enough, so I want to come on here and make it clear that I am truly and deeply sorry to those that I have hurt and offended. I love all people, whatever religion, race, shapes, and sizes. You can be upset that what I had done was ignorant, but you cannot be upset at me for being hateful as there's just no hate in me. I saw a video of a cute older man and decided to use the audio, and if I had known that it was something so sacred, I would have never used it. This is a lesson learned for me to be much more careful, but the hate that I'm receiving right now is really hard to handle and it's also coming at my friends and family which is completely unacceptable as it was my mistake and not theirs. This will be the last time that I'm talking about it but again I just want to make it clear and say that I am truly and deeply sorry to those that I've hurt and offended. I hope everyone stays safe and I love you all. And she seems to be serious about wanting to be better. Muslim YouTuber Way of Life SQ made a video about the situation and offered to send Nessa an English translation of the Quran. This is what she wrote in an Instagram DM. Saw your video and appreciated it very much. I made such a horrible mistake and will forever regret my ignorance. I would love to have an English translation and become more educated. Thank you. While Nessa did make a mistake, it's great to see her take responsibility for her actions and want to become more educated in the future. Do you think Nessa handled the situation well? What do you think about these stories? Let me know in the comments below.